Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really happy because I just got my entryway mirror, which is what I'm looking into as we speak. I'm so freaking happy with it. This mirror took like three months to get here, but guys, it was so worth it. This is the infinity mirror from Room and Board and I got it in white. It's 36 by 36. Let me turn the light on so you can see. But this is what it looks like in my entryway. The bench that we keep here, AJ moved it in the garage for me because I'm going to sand it and stain it today. But I kind of like how minimal this looks. I'm so happy with it. I'll link their website down below. It, like I said, it did take a while to get in, but you can't find this thin of a metal frame anywhere else. At least I couldn't. And this was a pretty good price. I think it was like $400. And if you know anything about me, Mirrors. mirrors are super expensive especially if you want something that's like not the typical thick white wood frame I didn't want frameless either because I have that in my master bathroom and it looks good I have three of them these are just from Wayfair the frameless looks good but it just doesn't look as elegant you know what I mean as I mentioned I'm going to stain the bench that we have for under the mirror oh my gosh it looks so good let me know what you guys think I did post it on my Instagram so if you want to be in the know and like real-time updates follow me on there so I have a bench how many times am I gonna say that I have a bench over there and I'm <laughs> so close I'm going to stain it the same color as our TV stand let me give you a quick overview in case you are new here so this is our living room we have the door there entryway here bedrooms over there kitchen over here dining room and then master bedroom laundry room garage okay done and then we have little baby vinny right here yes hi this is our master bedroom i finally got in the swatches from west elm i mentioned that i want to get a headboard over here and that i was waiting for some swatches to come in and to be honest i'm not very happy with any of them i was looking for more of a simple white and none of these are kind of that so if i were to go with west elm i think i would do this taupey color this is called stone i think it would look good with the carpet but i'm not sure because i really wanted something white and very minimal looking but this would be my second choice so let me know what you guys think about that too i literally just ask you guys for advice and i go usually with what the majority says so let me know what you think oh my gosh i have a very exciting package to show you i just have so much to update you on i'm so excited so i ordered some linen curtains from Amazon. I was looking, hello. Okay. I was looking for linen curtains everywhere. West Elm, Crate and Barrel, all the big name stores. And they are so expensive, as I'm sure you know. I was watching Rachel Ratke's vlog. I love her channel. And she mentioned her curtains. And I was like, oh my god, I love them. They're linen and they're from Amazon. So I had to order them for our bedroom window. I want to raise the curtain rod and have long linen curtains. And I also ordered a roller shade a blackout roller shade from blinds.com it was only $60 it's going to look similar to the roller shade we have in the living room obviously this was more expensive this was like $400 because it's so big and it's a sun shade so it has like 5% light coming through but I ordered a blackout shade for this one and since this window is tiny it was only $60 and so I have a blackout shade a new curtain rod that's just black from Amazon as well and then linen curtains the curtain rod is not in yet, but I did get these in and they are perfect. They are literally perfect. I was shook when I found out that each pack came with two curtains. So I thought I was getting two packs of one curtain, so two curtains total, but I got four curtains, which makes it even more economical. So each pack of two is $33.99. In total, I got four curtains for like $66. 
dollars. So they're linen. They're 96 inches long because I wanted them to touch the floor. And I got them in the color natural. I didn't want them to be a stark white. This is what the texture looks like. I mean, I'm sure you know what linen is. And I got the kind with this sort of top. I just think it's really cute and casual. Um, and you don't have to like buy the rings. I feel like the rings look more formal, which is not what I'm really going for and this is the color against bright white so this is bright white it's like the whitest white it matches the walls that's how white it is and this is the color natural they have a bunch of colors but I just think this is so much more pretty than a bright white and it goes nicely with the carpet and the taupey ceramic tile that we have in here and I think it's actually a good thing that I got four because I didn't realize how light and airy these were. And I feel like it'll look good with two on each side because this is obviously much thicker. I would never have like two of these on each side, but since these are so light, I feel like it would look skimpy if I didn't have more volume. So yeah, that's the curtain situation. I'm really excited to be getting my roller sheet in my curtain rod. I don't think they're gonna come this weekend, so that will be in the next vlog, but we do have a lot to do this weekend on the house. So the first thing I'm going to do is sand my bench. Okay, this is our garage. Don't judge us. We have so many tools left over from when we did our remodeling. We have a lot to do in here. I actually want to redo all the walls and the floor. I either want to do like a granite on the floor or do epoxy. This is the bench. As you can see, it's much lighter than our TV stand and I want to make it the same color. And it opens. This is where we keep all of our shoes by the front door. As you can see, I tried to stain this before without sanding it and it did not stick very well. Well, I guess now it's dry, but it was wet for like weeks after I did this. So I'm actually going to sand it and do it properly. That way it lasts a long time. So we have this Makita sander. We have like a bunch of different types of sandpaper, but I don't know which one to use. We have 120, 220, 320. I swear it's like we live in a Home Depot. So these come with stickies. You just take it off and stick it on the Makita like this. Oh my God, I'm scared. Let me call AJ. Hey, how do you turn on the Makita? So I... That's harder than it looks. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do it manually because that thing is freaking scaring me. Okay, as much as I want to do this myself, I don't think that's going to happen because this is where the Makita came and sanded it really well. And then the rest I sanded by hand, but obviously that's not a good enough sand. So I'm just going to have AJ help me with this because I don't want it to come out looking weird and like lighter in some areas and darker in other areas. And it's getting hot too. It's 9 a.m. now and the sun is starting to come out. I really wanted to get that done myself, so I'm a little bit disappointed. But I have to go to Home Depot anyway to get a paint roller because I'm going to paint this door white today. So I need to go right now and get a paint roller for that. And maybe I'll look for like some kind of sanding equipment because I feel bad making him do that because I told him I would do it myself. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I got my supplies and I prepped the area. I changed into my painting clothes so that I don't ruin my nice clothes. And I put Vinny in her room and I closed the bedroom door because I'm gonna have to open this door to get the edges and I don't want Vinny coming out and I don't want bugs coming in and going into the rest of the house. So this is the paint that we use on our doors and our trim. It's by Sherwin-Williams oil-based paint and it's a custom blend. You want to take a screenshot in case you want this color but oil-based paint is great for doors and trim because if it gets dirty you can just wipe it off. So this is what the paint looks like right now, but you have to mix it. Oh, actually this one is bad. This paint is bad, oh no. 
Okay, let's see. Yeah, this one's good, thank God. You see how much oil is actually in here? Isn't that crazy? And it smells so strong. Okay, the door is painted and I think it looks really good. I forgot to paint this little um, yellow thing and then there's a strip here that I left green by accident. So that's good. And I have to get AJ to take off this chain because it's like under that wood. So once that's off, it'll look better. I didn't change the doorknobs. I may do that. This paint is from Not Me. That was from a long time ago, by the way. But this door is so jacked up that I don't want to risk changing the doorknob because we have to shim it every time we close it. We have to like pull it a certain way. And as you can see, this door frame is on like all wrong. We moved this door. It was like four inches to the right and we moved it over here. It wasn't exactly done professionally. So we had to like shim it. Everything is shimmed. So that's why I'm not replacing the door or replacing the doorknobs because I'm scared that it won't fit back into place. And it looks fine from a distance. No one's going to be up there analyzing the doorknob. And I think it'll look great with the natural curtains because it'll break up the white a little bit. When I went to Home Depot, I also picked up some paint samples for the outside of our house. Our house is this really not cute blue color. It's the same color as that fence and as the shed. It's actually the same color as my shirt. Wow, that's so funny. So obviously we want to paint the house. We're not going to do it right away because it's a lot of work and we want to do it ourselves. But I figured I would get some samples. Our roof is bright white like this bed. That's why I'm having the samples here and not against the house because having the samples against the house would be like looking at it against a blue background and that won't help see what it's gonna look like you know what i mean so i'm leaning towards this one which is called off white these are by bear um i think the other ones are too dark i do want some contrast against the roof but i do want it to be basically extremely light color if that makes sense so i think this one will be a nice contrast that's the roof and that's the house because this one looks a little too light when we are actually ready to start painting i will get the little samples and paint some sections on the house so i can see which one we really like i also painted the trim around our front door because that actually was never painted it's hard to see because of the lighting is coming from this way but i painted the trim and I also touched up the baseboards here. So all of the baseboards, the trims, and the doors are the semi-gloss oil paint. It's 11.52, AJ should be coming home from work anytime now. He works until noon on Saturdays. It's Saturday, by the way, did I tell you that? Well, now you know. Come here, baby. Say hi to the vlog. How are you today? Did you know we thought she was a boy originally? Yeah, the shelter listed her as a boy. They named her Tux. That's her government name. That's a boy name. So we thought she was a boy for about two months. We realized she was a girl because when they're young, it's really hard to tell. Let's just say we realized she was missing some important parts of a boy's body. Yes, you were. And so we named her Vincent because we thought she was a boy, right? And then turns out she's a girl. We didn't feel like changing her name because by that point we were like calling her Vincent. And so we just decided to switch to Vinny, which can kind of go both ways. Um, but yeah, that's the story with our cat. She just turned one years old and she's a feisty little girl. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh yeah. So I have termites at work and they are personally attacking me. They have it out against me and they are looking to make my life miserable. So I have these pens, these colorful G2 pens that I just bought and I was so happy and proud that I have nice pens. And then two days later or something like that, try to use one of my pens and it won't click. Like, it, like the button won't work or it was only working halfway. And I look in the tip of the pen and you'll never believe who decided to make a nest in the tips of my pens, my colorful brand new pens. If you guessed termites, you guessed correctly. It was disgusting. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already 
seen this dilemma, it was, ugh. we're getting the problem resolved. I just wanted to share that because I thought it was crazy and living in Florida is an adventure, especially in the summer. The cockroaches are coming out, the termites are swarming, it's hot, it's humid, you know, but that's the price you gotta pay to live in a tropical paradise. I wouldn't trade it, but I just want you guys to know that it's not all rainbows and butterflies. Did I tell you everything? I feel like I'm missing something important. Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> Look at my neck. So if you, if you know how pale I am naturally, you'll know that this is a tan situation. I have a darker shade of skin this morning than I normally do. And if you wanna know how I achieved it, I'll tell you. Just wait. So I've been using, and by I've been using, I mean I used it once last night. Chelsea actually gave me this little bottle of Tan Lux face self-tanning drops. She was raving about them and said that they're amazing, so she let me use this little sample bottle. I put four drops of this in my moisturizer and then I just rubbed it in really well. But unfortunately, I missed some spots on my neck because like I'm an amateur I don't do this all the time and it sets in three hours but I just put it on right before bed and slept on my back Ooh. and we woke up with a super tan face very tan I do have makeup on right now but it's my darker foundation and I swear okay I'm not lying my face was tan this morning I should have recorded it but I'll link those tanning drops down below they actually smell really good and they don't like stain your bed sheets or like your pillows or anything. So highly recommend. It's always an awkward time like around noon because I know AJ's gonna be home and I wanna like be doing something. So he sees like that I'm doing something productive, but at the same time, like I don't know what to do or start, like I'm not gonna start a new activity. You know what I mean? I'm going to have some angel hair pasta with rouse sauce to hold me over because I'm starving. This sauce is so amazing, guys. I wanted to try it because everyone's been talking about it on social media as if it's like sat from heaven. So I wanted to try it and it is worth the hype. Even AJ said this tastes like a restaurant quality meal. We just had spaghetti with this sauce and then the fresh pork meatballs from the Walmart's meat section. And it, I, like, it was amazing. Okay, this is what it looks like, completely sanded. The poor guy had to do most of it by hand. He's such a saint. But you can tell that it's completely sanded because it's a completely different color. So now I'm going to stain it. This is the stain that I'm using. It's dark walnut. I'm gonna mix it up and then apply it with a rag. Wear gloves because this stuff stays on your hands. Babe, okay. What is this? It's supposed to look like? Well, I don't know. What did you do? That bench is not going to be something that exists. Let's just say that. I was expecting this elegant looking dark wood and I got something very different. I'll show you when I get back. And on top of that, I got it all over my hands. I don't know what I was thinking. I just got carried away and I had to scrub my hands for like 20 minutes with, a, with the back of a sponge and my hands feel really exfoliated. <laughs> so I recommend that if you're trying to stain some furniture, don't. Unless you really know what you're doing, it's not worth it. So now I have to buy a new bench which is not all bad because I didn't love that bench to begin with. It's a little too rustic for me, so let's see. I'm in AJ's truck, by the way, can you tell? I am going to get us some McDonald's because we are starving from all the energy that we exerted sanding that thing. We'll see AJ, he's taking a nap right now. Can I have four cheeseburgers and a small fry? Anything else? That's it. Should I get Cali coffee? Let me know in the comments below. Guess if I got it or not right now. Guess. 
Um, and if you're right, I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, guys. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day, you okay? Too. Oh my god, this is so good, bro. Okay, I got the Snickerdoodle oat milk latte from Cali Coffee and it is literally so good. I don't go there often because it's really expensive, um, but it's nice for a little treat. This is the masterpiece. It looks like a child did this. I would never buy this furniture. It's so bad. Look at all the streaks. There's just like no saving it. Okay, it's about five o'clock and we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and get What? Yeah, I know I have a jacket. I have a little grout fit on these are my absolute favorite pants from Airy. They're super high-waisted and I highly recommend everybody to get them this shirt I don't know where it's from but it's just like a cropped gray top and then I have my gray sweatshirt This is from H&M going for a gray look today We're gonna get some groceries and then it's Mother's Day tomorrow. So I want to get a bunch of flowers for my mom Time for a little Trader Joe's haul. AJ got these buffalo style chicken poppers. We got some smoked chicken sausage, Brussels sprouts. I got this pollo asado for some chicken tacos this week. We got two things of orange chicken, AJ loves this. I got a kale and edamame salad, some dark chocolate, cheese for the tacos, sour cream for the tacos. I got this chocolate hummus. I figured I would try this. They've been seeing this all over the place with strawberries and I got apples to try with that. Tortillas, island soyaki sauce. This is good for marinating meat. I got this naan, some avocados, bananas, and that's it. Pretty small grocery haul, right Vinny? Hi, say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, my curtain rod just came in and I just wanted to show you. It's just a basic black rod with a little head on the end. Just something super simple. It came with all of the hardware and everything. I believe this was like $28 or something like that. Very affordable. But I think that's going to be it for this week's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Thursday and then I also post every other Monday as well. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to stay in the loop. And I'll see you next time.